Today we're going to talk about the angles of elevation and depression. And what we're going to have is uh, have Superman fly to Paris. And here he comes now. Superman flying into Paris, and let's have him land right here. And notice he's landing right by the Eiffel Tower, which is a very famous building in Paris. And he's going to demonstrate for us what we mean by an angle of elevation. Um, so what Superman's going to do is he's going to look up to the top of the Eiffel Tower, and we have a big red dot that we'll put at the top to indicate the top of the Eiffel Tower. And what he's going to do is looking up there, we'll draw a line of sight right to the top of that. And so this is our line of sight right here. And the angle formed between his line of sight and the horizontal, this angle, is called the angle of elevation. So let's write that down here. This is called the angle of elevation. And remember that elevate means to go up. And so Superman is looking up to the top of the Eiffel Tower. And therefore, uh, this is why we're calling this an angle of elevation. Simply the uh, angle formed between this line of sight uh, that is above the horizontal line. Let's write a more formal definition of this. And here's our definition. The angle of elevation is the angle between a horizontal line, so here's our horizontal line, and the line joining the observer's eye to some object above the horizontal line. So Superman is, uh, we drew a line, we call our line of sight, uh, joining the observer's eye, which is Superman's eye, to an object above the horizontal line. And the above is important, and you'll see why in a minute. So this is our angle of elevation as Superman looks up to the top of the Eiffel Tower. Okay, now we're going to have Superman fly to the top of the Eiffel Tower. And here he comes now. Whoops, we just lost something else. And here comes Superman flying to the top of the Eiffel Tower right there. And now Superman is at the top, and he's going to be looking down. Notice we still we have a horizontal line like we had before, but this time we're putting the horizontal line, from once again, from Superman's eye. Um, and this time he's looking down. I don't know what he's looking at, but let's assume that he's looking at Lois Lane. So Lois Lane, his girlfriend, would be down here. And notice in this case, by looking down, the angle is formed below the horizontal line, and his line of sight is going right to Lois. And so this angle here is called the angle of depression. And notice that it's the angle formed between the uh, line of sight and the hor uh, horizontal line from Superman's eye, but below the horizontal line. So let's write a more formal definition of that. And here we go. So this is called the angle of depression, which is the angle between the horizontal line and the line joining the observer's eye to some object beneath the horizontal line. The uh, line joining the observer's eye to the object is, as we said, called the line of sight. But notice the key word, it's beneath the horizontal line. So this angle here, the angle of depression, is beneath the horizontal line. And that is the difference between the angle of elevation and the angle of depression. And uh, in this picture, we have both the angles of elevation and depression. And there's something that we should notice, that when Superman is looking down, we have an angle of depression, as we said. And if he flies to the bottom here, and he looks up, that's an angle of elevation. And for those of you who could remember uh, this, that these two horizontal lines, this one and here, this one, are considered to be parallel. And this line that connects the two, and we'll put some arrows on this, this line here is called the transversal between two parallel lines. And you might remember that uh, alternate interior angles of two parallel lines are equal. 
So uh, the angle of depression here and the angle of elevation are considered the alternate interior angles. So it does turn out that this angle up here and this angle down here, the angles of elevation and depression, are equal. So just to write that out, the angles of elevation elevation and depression are equal. And that's important to remember when we get to some different types of uh, modeling problems. The angles of elevation and depression are equal. So why don't we sum this up? What we learned so far was that the angle of elevation is the line, is the angle between the horizontal line and the line joining the observer's eye to some object above the horizontal line. That's the above, that's important. And that the angle of depression is the angle between the horizontal line and the line joining the observer's eye to some object beneath the horizontal line. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the show. I know Superman did. He has to fly now, so good luck. And see you again next time. Up, up, and away.